This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick of the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review today, this time taking a look at an application that's specific to the iPad. And uh, we'll talk about why in just a second and show you kind of uh, why this is more suited to a, uh, you know, a device with a larger screen in comparison to, say, the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Uh, but the app that we're talking about here is called iDashboard, and it's available for $1.99 in the App Store, which is actually not a lot at all considering the value that you're going to get out of this app. And we'll show you more of that in just a second. But uh, before we go any further, we do want to mention that we don't get to say this often, so we're going to do it with uh, some particular relish now. iDashboard really is one of the up-and-coming apps in the App Store, and we'd be very surprised if a few uh, you know, graphical changes and a few slight updates didn't bring this into the up-and-coming a section of the App Store itself very soon. We're very uh, you know stoked about what this app offers and it truly is innovative so we hope that this goes places and we have uh, every confidence that it will. So we're gonna go ahead and show you why and we're gonna go ahead and boot into this. There's the boot screen. Nice icon design by the way lads. Very nice there. And here's the main interface. Um, this is essentially what iDashboard is and to give just a brief, you know, the briefest explanation possible, the iDashboard takes everything that you like about your iPad or do regularly with it and then kind of shoves it into a single, uh, you know, a single app, even just two pages is all we're sporting here with the stock setup. Um, if I can slide through these, there we go. Uh, so essentially what I've got going on here is I've got a weather panel, and uh, well, okay, let's describe it this way. A dashboard works in panels. You're given all these various different panels that uh, integrate all of the things that you do regularly on your iPad into one source. For example, I have my weather panel here that's telling me how cold it is, bloody cold. And then I've got a, a clock app over here, and then each of these panels can be clicked usually to uh, produce a different function, like I can set an alarm straight from the application, which is brilliant. Likewise, I can uh, hit this uh, upcoming events and then see my schedule. I don't have my iCal synced with my, uh, with my tablet here, but otherwise it would be integrated. We also like this kind of HTC style font there, so uh, good job there again, developers. But that's not where this stops, actually, because all the other panels actually, you know, offer a, an extreme amount of functionality. If you've noticed, this has been ticking along. These are my uh, Facebook friends um, chatting away, and I can scroll through these at will. We'll try not to show you too many of, too many of my friends' names. Likewise, there's uh, Twitter, which I don't usually follow too many, too many of my friends, so this will probably be safe to uh, scroll through. Sorry to uh, anybody out there who's a little bit more sensitive about that. But here's all of my uh, social networking in one location. Basically, I have my Twitter and my Facebook, and it's, let's say someone posts, you know, a uh, picture to something. Let me find, uh, like, their feminist Hulk has posted something on Twitter. Then all I have to do is hit this button, and then away the in-app browser goes. This is nothing totally special. Um, you know, it's it's not absolutely fantastic in terms of uh, in-app browsing. Um, although it does definitely get the job done, and if you want to, you can share via Facebook directly from this little uh, pop-out menu, so that's pretty fantastic. And that is the first time I've ever seen this app crash, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened just then, uh, but uh, sorry for that delay there, guys. So uh, to discuss a little bit more of what else you can do with this, so not only can you look at your social networking, which is something that we do all the time with our iPad, check weather and do clocks, which is the other uh, major things that we do with it. You can also read your news, which is something that we typically do in the morning with our coffee. Uh, there's all kinds of different news sources, and these can be customized. You simply click the gear, and then you're free to enter URLs and delete the ones that come with it however you want. And you can rearrange these things however you like, simply by dragging. So that's pretty fantastic as well. The ones, the uh, or the news sources, I should say, that came with this are rather fantastic. The tech is just kind of basic gizmodo and whatnot. Uh, but uh, other than that, we were really impressed with what just came stock with it. There's also a photo viewer that's going to scroll through my photos, and you can set the timer on this too. So essentially what we feel like most people are going to be using this for is say when your iPad is charging, you can simply uh, put it up like I have on my stand here and then plug it in and then let it roll. It's absolutely fantastic, especially because there's a built-in music player and you can select uh, any of your albums or playlists. I've been uh, playing the kills in these video reviews, so we're going to keep doing that. And again, just more basic functionality. This is kind of a jack-of-all-trades.
application rather than a uh, you know single use style uh, app and we are completely fine with that in fact we're quite enamored with the application we feel like this is one of the uh, best things we've seen in the app store in a long time actually because it does so well integrate everything that we do with the iPad and it's easy to say that, but in the long run, I mean, this actually does do it. All of the things that we do on a regular basis are in one place. And uh, considering how well the in-app browser works, how well the other features work, you know, it's extremely functional, which is uh, our only fear with this app was that uh, we were concerned that it might not be as functional as we might like. And though it's not quite on par with uh, where we'd like it to be, it's excellent as is. Our only uh, complaints are really with the graphical interface. We wish this was on the same kind of beauty level is something like Flipboard, which offers, you know, this just heavenly graphical interface, which, uh, you know, this doesn't quite support yet. But aside from that, you know, the functionality is definitely here. The Twitter uh, and, and Facebook integration is fantastic. Likewise, the newsreaders work as we showed you uh, with the in-app browser. It's just perfect. And a couple more updates, it'll be even better. Uh, so in the long run, just to give a quick wrap up, you know, iDashboard is pretty fantastic. We're going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating because we really do enjoy what it has to offer and we wish it the best. With a few more updates, a few more bug fixes here and there, a couple graphical updates, we really do feel like iDashboard is going to be on the same level as something like Flipboard, an app that, say, everyone downloads the minute they get their iPad. And at the moment, the price is right, too, because it's $1.99 in the App Store, which is, you know, uh, you know, that's the proper price, we feel. We could do it at $0.99, but then again, we feel like it's definitely more functional than that. So buck ninety nine is about the right price. So it's a great value for the money, and it's just absolutely, fantastically functional. So with that in mind, iDashboard gets a 4.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. And that's pretty much all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. But before I do, I want to encourage you guys to go check out all the other YouTube videos that are on our YouTube channel, which you should be cruising now. If you want to hear my voice and see some awesome apps, that is the place to go. Likewise, you can go to the iPhoneAppReview.com to read heaps of our written reviews as well. That's all we have to say about it, so we're going to go ahead and sign out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.